Hey guys, Pastor Chris here. Welcome to the Poolside Chat. Actually, face is doing better. It's still red, but putting Vaseline on, still shiny, Chris. But it keeps getting better and better every day. So, for those of you who have been praying, thank you. How do people that don't have a relationship with God, how do they get through tough times in life? I have answered this before, but I don't think I gave a complete answer when I look back. So let me try to give you some insight. And I couldn't answer this because I couldn't put myself in the place of not having God. So one of the questions, one of the ways I answer is, what, how do you get through life with God? Because you know God's with you. It's not that you're on, or excuse me, it's not that you call him to be on your side. It's that you're on his side. You're with him. And he loves you, wants the best for you. Doesn't mean we won't suffer. Doesn't mean we won't have bad stuff happen. Actually, in scripture it says even more bad stuff will happen than without him. But you can rely on him and know we'll be there. And it reminded me of a verse. Um, this is in the book of Philippians, a letter Paul wrote to the church of Philippi. He wrote this from prison. He wrote this. He was in really, really tough straits. And in this letter, he's talking about joy, 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 rejoice, joyful, joy, be joyful. And it's all the more amazing that he says to do this when he from being in prison. And... There's a verse here towards the end of the letter, a passage. It says, finally, as I closes it out. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So basically, fill your mind with these really, really good thoughts. And it made me think, this is what people outside of Christ do. Not knowing God, but they think it's the action of filling your mind with good thoughts. Uh, some people call this practice mindfulness. Some meditate. And it, actually, I say this is meditation. Godly meditation. Um, but this act of mindfulness of meditation of living in the moment of being present is what people without God do they do the acts and it helps absolutely it helps that's why God in scripture tells us to do these but we do it with God, whereas others without Christ do it outside of God, without Him. So it's dependent on us, on what we do, on our attitudes, on our mindset. So what I encourage you to do, and I say this, I think, because either these people are or have friends or family who are going through tough times, what do you do if you don't have God? do this but as God gives opportunity don't get preachy don't bat, beat them over the head but pray for God to give you opportunity share what God has done for you and see if God will allow you to share Christ open that door so anyway, so that kind of fully, I guess more fully answers that question, what do people do outside of Christ? There's a lot of techniques and a lot of um, uh, awarenesses and practices out there that help, and they are helpful. So it's hard to imagine, but when you have Christ, how you live without Christ,
But I guess my thing is, practice this stuff because it does help. So, anyway, I hope that answers the question. Uh, guys, thanks for listening. Keep these questions coming. Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, at FL Compass Church. And now on Instagram, at FL Compass Church. Have a wonderful day wherever you're at. If you're out enjoying the sun, don't be Chris. Sunscreen and a hat. And uh, be sure to check back Saturday. We'll see you then.